I interviewed uh, Tanisa Welch, mm-hmm. who was um, the first lady of, of a BMF, you know, okay. black mafia family. Yeah, she's, I know her I, very well. Oh, you know her? Yeah, I know her very well. Yes, my girl. Oh, okay. Okay. I know you everybody, guys, Vlad. How, how, how do, okay, before I go on, how did you, what kind of interaction did you guys have to know her like that? Um, they came to me years ago to perform. I did one of their, their big birthday parties out in Beverly Hills. And when mm-hmm. I say BMF, do it right, when I say they parties is off the chain, like everybody in there, it was so much diamonds in there, it had to be over 20 million just worth of diamonds. I talk about the cars in the parking lot. And we have been friends ever since. I all, I'm the guy they always call to do their comedy sh- When they do the comedy shows, I'm, t- I, I'm the guy that they hire to come do their stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, it's interesting because we went into this whole story uh, where um, Southwest T, right, Terry, mm-hmm. he got pulled over and they found like $3 million with the jewelry on him, mm-hmm. right? And... Uh, he, instead of saying, hey, okay, they got me. This is drug money. I need to just keep it moving and separate myself from the situation. Right. They came up with the idea to try to get the jewelry back from the feds. So by doing that, they implicated a bunch of other people in the process, right? Okay. So, so, what, ha- so, so what happened was all the jewelry was bought from Jacob the jeweler. Right. Right. And when you spend a certain amount of money anywhere especially in a jewelry company they have to fill out a special kind of form like if it's like 20,000 or 25,000 they have to fill out a form and send that to the government to say hey this person came in spent all this money here's what they bought the government needs to know about it right jacob jacob was selling jewelry to all these guys and not filling out these forms mm. right and 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 i'm going to come back to this you go okay. see how this all fits together so when they went to go to get the jewelry back they said they had an associate that was trying to just roll around with BMF and be down. His name is Damon Thomas. Okay. Who, who at the time was married to Kim Kardashian. Wow. M- music producer, right? He basically said, oh, that's jewelry. You know, all that jewelry is mine. So when the feds start to investigate in this whole situation, they realize, number one, the jewelry wasn't his. Number two, Jacob had been selling all this jewelry without registering it. So now both these guys are now part of the BMF case. Jacob ends up going to prison for a few years over this shit. And what she said was interesting is that she said that she knows, you know, she knew Damon Thomas very well. And she, w- and she would always tell him, stick to music. You're not built for this. This is not the life that you're supposed to live. You know, we, what we do is different than what you do. That's you so you do pretty well in the music thing. Me and Damon were friends before all of this. And, and I was telling Damon, you know, Damon used to come by the house and we used to hang out like, Damon, this is not the life for you. You know, don't do it. Because I, you know, like you say, it's just like you. You talk to people, you know, you get a feel for people. You not. This is not your lifestyle. You right. might not want to get involved in this. It's because if something happened, you know, you you not you can't take this heat, and right. you know. So that's I. You know, I don't even blame them because he shouldn't even have been around. He should have stuck to what he what he did, music. And, and I kind of like you know when she said that, I said, yeah, you know, because BMF flew me out around two thousand four and partied with him. You know, and I was at Big Meech's house when he had the, the ankle bracelet on and right. you know, Blue Da Vinci was taking me around. And I remember that first day I looked around and said, I don't want to be part of this. I, I know what this is. I, I know exactly. Like, it's clear to me, totally outside of the drug world, totally as a middle class yeah. kid from the suburbs, it's clear where this money's coming from. Right. And I don't want to be anywhere near it. I'm not built for this shit. Yeah. I don't want the feds to, to, to start to pressure me to somehow cooperate right. or whatever like nah they like, were shining just... they were shining too much that it was obvious that they it was were gonna go shining down. too much they were shining they were too much shining too much shining and it too was much. like they had they had billboards right and they would pull up in two million dollars with the cars right and they would yo and it's like no one's stupid here like everyone knows what's happening here right. no one's selling any records you guys have no stars on your label right that's blue, so blue, true. blue da vinci blue da vinci never sold any albums right you know what I'm saying? Young Jeezy had already moved away from them. Right. You know, because he knew he knew what was coming. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, yo, like everyone ended up going to prison. 
It was like 30. She was one of the 30 that got arrested initially. Yeah, she sure was. Yeah, yeah. nice young lady, though. Nice young lady. God bless her. But, you know, um, again, we live long enough to see them get back on the streets. Yeah, yeah. Southwest T is back. She's yeah. back. Big Meech will hopefully get out at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's going to be crazy. It's going to be gonna crazy. Be crazy. When, when, when Meech is out, it's going to be crazy. Right, right. You know? <laughs>